Hello everyone, welcome back to Ark's Fate Alice. We once again return to the Temple of Akba. I need to look around a bit more, see what's here. Obviously my main goal is to find the meteor and try to get to it and try to destroy it. But I'm sure there's much more here to find. And by the way, the end of the last episode, when I wasn't recording, I was messing around with the spell system a little bit because uh, there are actually hidden spells that do not show up in your spell book. And I was just messing around with some spells. Particularly, I was trying to find the reveal spell so that I can continue the treasure hunt. And I believe the hidden spells are usually related to another spell. So I was thinking, okay, reveal is maybe related to night vision because that's a vision-related spell. So I was kind of trying different variations of this. And I did not find the reveal spell. However, I did find two interesting things. One spell, which is this is invisibility. Which at first I thought that was a hidden spell, but then I realized it's actually in my spell book. It's uh, right here on level, or on eight, whatever this is. Which confused me because I thought you needed the skill level of whatever you pick here to be able to use it. I thought I needed a casting level of 80 or above to be able to cast whatever's in here. But apparently not, because my casting ability is 46, and yet I cast it invisibility, which is on 8. Which leads me to wonder, what the hell are... What's the meaning of these numbers? Did these have any meaning at all? I, I don't understand. But the other one I found, I'm pretty sure, is not in my spellbook, and I have no idea what it does, but it does something. Here it is. It's, um... It's this. And I have to use it somewhere. And it does that. I have no idea what it is. It just makes a pretty noise and makes some sparkly light things, and then it disappears. I don't know. You can even use it on living people, by the way. I used it on him over there. And it, is he inside of that? What? Uh, right. Well, yeah, anyway, you can use it on him. Doesn't seem to do anything. It's obviously not an offensive spell, because if I was doing damage to him, I'm sure he'd be pissed off at me. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, let's explore around. I don't actually remember where I've been and where I haven't been. Okay, looks like this is where I came from, according to the minimap. Yeah, okay, I remember coming through there. What if I missed any pathways back there? I don't know, this is the main chamber, though. That's where that guy is. I think the meteor might be further through there, given that we were talking about the meteor. So, let's go down to some of these other areas. I'm particularly curious... What's in here, because of this dispel field thing? I was just thinking, are those things going to come to life? Those look like golems. Hmm. A little bit worrying. Alright, what's the spell? What's the spell for dispel? Right, left, and then curly thing. Please don't kill me. Oh, what do you know? It's a golem. It's not angry at me yet, though. Oh, hi, hi, oh, okay, it's, <laughs> it's looking at me. Hi. Alright, there's its heart. Can't talk to it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, this one doesn't have any heart or soul or whatever that is. This one does. What if that means something? It's gotta mean something. What if it's related to the note? The first locks the second. Eh, maybe. Oh, wait, did I use up? Oh no, I've got some lockpicks, okay. 
That's not possible. Hmm. Need a key. This place is huge. It's a pressure plate. Hmm, it's red. That means it has a trap. Uh, do I have a spell that deals with traps? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, technical skill allows you to succeed at things such as picking locked doors and disabling traps. How do you actually disable traps with your skill, though? Do you use the, the set of tools? You probably use the set of tools. These aren't actually lockpicks, technically, they're just tools. Not really a very successful attempt. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Okay, so it's used for both lockpicking and trap disabling. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. I do have a spell, which is probably guaranteed to work. Yeah, disable trap. Hmm. Maybe I want to use it. No, let's keep doing this. Not really a very successful attempt. There you go. Um, wait a minute. That didn't seem to disable it, it's still red. It couldn't have been locked, right? Uh, okay. I guess I did disable the trap. Weird. Wait, so what the fuck did that do? Okay. I wonder if I could flip that lever with telekinesis. Switches around here. I don't know what is up with that. Well, I think I'm going to be coming back here. Hmm. Well, that's obviously a doorway. It's trying to kill me, isn't it? Uh, okay, it's very slow. I don't know if fire's gonna work against a golem. Shit. I might need to stab its heart or something. Is it even taking damage? Okay, I'm gonna run behind it. See if there's anything in here. No. So, I probably shouldn't have opened that. See if I can stab it in the heart. Ooh, it worked. Uh. Alright, I gotta get away from it so that it doesn't spool up its attack. Because I can't actually reach its heart when it's like this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh! Ooh. Okay, I can actually hit it when it can't hit me. Ooh, it's damaged? Oh no, I killed it. Okay, okay. Whew. Thankfully it has a generous hitbox for its chest cavity. What well, golem's heart? Hello. 
Isn't that... Yeah, that can be used to enchant stuff. Yeah, there's some weird stuff that can enchant stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, garlic, for example, can be used to enchant stuff, weirdly enough. Which is really, really strange, like, I'm just imagining rubbing a blade in, in garlic. And then suddenly it does more damage, or whatever it does. I don't remember what the golem's heart actually does, though. What its enchantment effect is. I don't know. Anyway, I can't enchant my sword. For it is already enchanted. Okay, do I have a password? No. The first locks the second. I don't think that's related to this. There's a lot of mysteries down here. A lot of locked doors. So there's a password. Yeah, I mean, there's... There's this weird chamber in here with a lever that doesn't seem to do anything. There's a chamber over there with a password thing and also a door with a golem behind it and that's it. And then there's this other chamber that just has a locked door at the end of it. I wonder why this one isn't attacking me. It's very strange. Hmm. Is it upstairs? Oh, hold on. Cancel the last one I did. No. Damn it. Ooh. What? Oh no, you don't! Piece of paper. Ooh, and a key. And a spellcasting ring. Sweet, okay, let's make sure I know where this stuff goes. Okay, it's all packing into the end. Excellent. I can keep track of it. Alright, uh, spellcasting ring. I think I actually might want to put that on. Hmm, unless I want to keep my ring of general protection on. Which is quite nice. It does increase my casting to 50. Do have any spells in the fives? Cure effects of poison? I don't even know if you need a spell, a, a ability of 50 to even cast these, since invisibility doesn't seem to need that, so I don't know if that matters. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this on. It gives me a good amount of protection. Plus 10% AC, and plus 10% magic resistance. That's good. Whoops. Okay, put the key in my key ring. Somewhere. Alright, what does that say? Brother Glavasius, if you should ever need to switch the security system off, Please note that your access code is 113. The protective force field should not cause you any trouble. Brother Patrizio and Brother Pascal will help you to switch off the other security systems. Lord of Serbius. 
Okay, that switches the security system off. What is the security system? Was that the golem I just killed? Would that pacify it? Can I take your heart? No. Huh. Oh, uh, I should probably share the key, shouldn't I? chambers of the person that came out screaming and running at me. Locked. Locked. Two uses of my tools left. Oh. No need. He has the key to his own chest. That makes sense. Telekinesis. Stragon. Or is that an I? Stragwin? Stragum? Can't, is that an M or an I? I can't even tell. I can't tell if it's one letter or two. Stragum? Stragwin? I don't even know. I don't think they connect. It's really hard to tell. Uh, okay, do I have that? It's kind of hard to tell visually because sometimes these up here differ a little bit from what you see down here, but I don't think I have it. Nope. Okay, any new spells? <gasps> Reveal! <laughs> yes! Yes! The treasure hunt will be mine. Let's go ahead and use it, actually. Something I didn't realize for a while, by the way, is that if you click on a spell, like I just did, it actually pops up in the top right. So you can kind of complete each step as you go. Come on. The fuck? What is it? Is it like that? Is it an N? Uh. Really? Hold on. Where are you? Slegu. It's just an N. Alright, it looks like it goes horizontally really far though. A little bit up, very far sideways. A little bit up. There we go. <laughs> this spellcasting system, the, the glyph recognition system is shit. It's really bad, like... Oh my god. I thought the void was bad at recognizing what symbols you drew on the screen, but my god. There we go. Did Just disappeared in like half a second. Huh. I'm not sure whether it's worth using that in general, like... I mean, aside from the treasure hunt, where would I want to use it? Is it very situational, only when a quest specifically kind of calls for it or hints towards it? Or could you actually find stuff just by using it, you know, around? Just at kind of random spots? I have no idea. <laughs> that guy over there just said, I'm dying to see Akba. Yes, you will. Well, you'll get to see him very soon. They literally sleep with bags of human meat bleeding next to them. Like, what the hell? Alarm! 
<laughs> so satisfying. <laughs> uh, you cast that and then you can't even see anything for like a full second as everything explodes and then what's left is a crispy body. A golem's heart. A ring of greater intuition. I thought intuition didn't really matter. I don't think it really does matter. Brother, Brother Patrizio, Patrizio, this heart is one of the keys to the security system. Oh, take good care of it, Lord of Serbius. Okay, so maybe I need to put a heart into the, the one golem that's missing it. I see you hiding there. More dispel fields. Ooh. Didn't need no high intuition to see that hidden thing. Bottle full of white powder. It's... It's cocaine. I have no more room. Hmm. What do I dump? Armor? Probably armor. It's the biggest stuff. Let's auto-sort, which turns out you do by double-clicking this. There we go. All nice and neat. Oh, yeah! I also forgot, I believe someone told me if you press H, that's auto-heal. So I don't need to, like, sort my inventory so that my healing potions are e super easily accessible. Is that actually in the controls? Curious. H, 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 H. Oh yeah, life potion, H. Mana potion is G. G. Hmm. Alright. There might be some other interesting controls in there too, I'll need to take a look. What's in this hidden chamber? Hmm. Ooh. I don't think I have either of those. Flying Eye. Does that do what I think it does? Allows me to move around and scout ahead. This might give me a bunch of new spells. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. Armor. Lower armor. Oh, that's uh, debuff. Cool. I wonder how long it lasts for. I've got so many spells. Creates a nourishment field to subdue hunger. Wait, what? Do I actually get hungry? I can't remember my character ever getting hungry. Ever. I mean, I eat to restore health sometimes, although not really anymore now that I have health potions. Huh. Bless. Overall buff. Protect specifically from fire. Hmm. Create a field of protection. I find it really amusing that I'm probably going to use almost none of these ever. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to learn how to cast them. Enchant object! Okay, so I don't need to use a freaking scroll anymore. Excellent. Negate magic. <laughs> Prevents magic from working within a given radius around the spellcaster. That could be very useful if you're trying to um, uh, use melee attacks or just get near a spellcaster. You know, get up in their face and start whacking them in the head. And they can't cast anything. Nice. Okay. There's something here I wanted to try. Oh yeah, let's try this. See if I can even cast it. <laughs> that is awesome! I made my own! Now, how long does it last for? It looks like it's something I can cancel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Neat. 
I'm not exactly going to be casting that in the midst of battle, though. I find it sad that the spellcasting system means I'm... It means that I'm realistically going to barely use any of these spells except in the strangest and most specific of circumstances. Uh, if I've been down here... Yeah, let's go down here. Still want to use the Golem Heart. Golem Heart. I usually say Golem, but it's Golem. You know, I really need to sell these. Like, most of these are completely irrelevant. Enchant object, I already have it. You know, I have a... I have the runes for that, I can just do it myself. I don't need to scroll. Fireball. Dispel field. Like, most of the stuff I don't need. And I think it actually sells for a hell of a lot. Because... I'm pretty sure they cost a lot to buy, and if they cost a lot to buy, then they're gonna sell for a lot. They're starting to take up a lot of room. Okay, been to most areas around this hub place. Let's go try the Golem Heart. Golem Heart. Cool. Come on. What? Hi. Um, okay, I... I guess he's my bodyguard now. Because I put the heart in him? Can I put a heart in you? No. Well, hello, friend. Uh, do you just protect me from people, or can I use it for something else? Like, can you get me through doors? Oh my god, you're so slow. Hope your pathfinding's good. Are those golems related? Golems related to... Oh god, the autosaur just ruined all this, didn't it? The first locks the second. Nah, that's probably not related to this. I don't know what's going on with all this stuff, though. There's gotta be something more going on here. It's really weird. I don't know if that disabled the security system or what the security system even is. I don't know. Alright, let's continue on down here. I guess he has switch over here. Hello. Hi. Shit. I see some other people have been in here, haven't they? Uh, you want to kill me, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> Thank God he's blind and also apparently deaf. Protect me, other golem! Where's my other golem? Ow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work, but what if I aim it towards... The... No, I don't think it does anything. I think I've almost got him. Come on. Oh my 
god, this one's really, really strong. <laughs> Where is my other golem? I guess his pathfinding isn't very good. Oh my god. How many hits do you take? Are you invincible? There we go. Wow. even was I? Oh yeah, over here. I must have eaten up a lot of the durability. Yeah, 72 out of 80. Not too bad, actually. Just a little bit confused about... About... This heart is one of the keys to the security system. So is the security system the golems? It's gotta be, right? One of the keys to them, though? Or does he literally mean I can use a golem heart on, like, a door to unlock it? Oh my god! Hell yes! Um, I think I just got both of these, though, didn't I? Yeah, I literally just got both of those from... the chest, I think. No magic permitted beyond this point. <laughs> what are you going to do to stop me? Yeah, go, go away now. Thank you. is disgusting. It's like it's half turned to flesh. Ew. Alright, well, I'm gonna wallow in the muck next episode. I need to save more often. So, made some solid progress. This place is very large and full of many interesting things. Hidden buttons, hidden chests, lots of keys and passwords and... Yeah, a lot of things to see, a lot of things to do. It's a very cool place, I like it. And it's creepy as hell. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.